This lonesome wind turbine is located just off the coast of Hoekzeel on the North Sea. It's a solitary symbol of Germany's planned shift to renewable energies and a harbinger of what's to come a few kilometers out to sea, a wind park. This one is called Meerwind, ocean wind, and supplies 300,000 households a year with electricity. But before a wind park can be built, specially equipped ships have to scan the seabed. Every day, weather permitting, a task force heads out on a salvage vessel to make the North Sea safer. Mines, torpedoes and grenades, dating back through both world wars, are still lost in its chilly depths. The well-known dumping sites are enormous. There are probably a million tons of munitions polluting the North Sea. In some areas, ammunition was thrown overboard on the way to the dumping sites. And aircraft will also have dropped extra weight on the return journeys to save fuel. After the end of the Second World War, when the Allies disarmed the Germans, they disposed of the weapons at sea. They've been there ever since, the salt water corroding their metal sleeves so that the explosives seep into the sea. Underwater robots like this one can detect the munitions before they possibly explode. This could happen if an acid fuse is activated by a chemical process, for example. 15 meter radius. Dieter Gulden sits in the control room with his team of technicians and geophysicists, observing the robot's progress. We often need to establish the specifics. That means identifying what type of a grenade it is, what kind of an explosive or mine. Then we have to decide if it's transportable. Can the object be moved? Can we take it out of the cable route we're clearing, or do we have to arrange for a controlled explosion on site? A diver is dispatched to investigate the find. These experts do dangerous work, defusing bombs that could theoretically kill them. This object appears to be a naval mine. The diver has to be scrupulously careful and avoid sudden movements. Unsteady hands could be fatal at this point. Fear is disastrous. If you're afraid of explosives, then you shouldn't be working in this field. Recovering a bomb is only half of the job. Special units then need to defuse it. Small remnants of potentially dangerous munitions can also wash up on the coast. Old munitions are sometimes found by tourists and hikers on guided tours. In these cases, it will be reported by the tour guide. A controlled explosion is the last resort. In the event that a bomb can't be defused, if the munitions can't be transported, they're rendered harmless underwater. Nature conservationists maintain that these underwater detonations endanger marine life, such as seals and porpoises. Think of the practice of dynamite fishing, which has thankfully been banned. It killed fish with underwater blasts. Marine animals have a lateral line used to detect movement and vibration in the surrounding water, which also plays a role in their orientation. A blast is extremely loud and causes pressure that can kill fish. The teams commissioned by energy companies planning the wind parks are aware of the environmental impact of their work, but they feel that clearing unexploded ordnance in the North Sea takes priority. It's a threat to shipping, marine life, and it's also hampering Germany's energy transition. But the task force also knows that there's a limit to what it can do. 
Clearing all the munitions from the North Sea is a job that could take another 10 or 20 years. Making the coastal area completely safe would cost millions, let alone the whole of the North Sea and Baltic Sea area. Over a million tons of munitions were disposed of in the North and Baltic Seas after the Second World War, including highly toxic chemical weapons, a dangerous inheritance.